the course format is uh, a two hour uh, slot in the evening, one day a week uh, for about uh, 25 weeks of the year. And then there's a one day uh, workshop. Weekly sessions can involve lectures from myself, um, uh, guided research sessions, um, but we also get a range of absolutely excellent guest lectures from the ANU. Students have told me they prefer the exam format, that's their favourite assessment task, which is a, an hour and 15 uh, task where students are in exam-like conditions, except that they have access to the internet, so they do research and learn to work to that really tight um, time frame in that task. They also do a learning portfolio, which is a, a, a reflective sort of piece which documents their journey over time in the course. But the largest assessment is the performance task, and that's quite a creative piece where they get to make a short film uh, on a topic, a research topic that they have enjoyed learning about, and they do further research on that themselves. For the culture unit, I did my performance task on um, religion and how it's used in marketing and pop culture, so I made my own sitcom. This episode, we examine the Muslim world through the lens of pop culture, more specifically television, a medium which reaches over 90% of the Indonesian population. In the first year of the program, my performance task uh, kind of examined stereotypes both Indonesians and Australians have of each other. I researched uh, punk movements within Indonesia uh, and decided I needed a mohawk to play my character. Today, I'm joined here with Dama Ula from the band, hang on, I'll let you say it. Hakita Hakita. Most people do know that Indonesia's economy is pipped to be in the top economies in the world uh, by 2050. And for students of the age who are taking this course in year 11 and 12, um, they are going to be at the height of their career in that, that era. And knowledge of Indonesia, its politics and culture, as well of course as the language, uh, is a really important skill for these Australians to acquire. I learned a lot about uh, culture and politics because those were the two main things that we focused on in this course. In addition to a lot about religion, mainly Islam, we went very in-depth into all of these topics and especially looked at how they're all intertwined, that it's like how they relate to each other. The first question I wish to start with today is regarding the recent election for Governor of Jakarta. I believe this is a very useful place to start when investigating the modest status of unification in Indonesia. Was the backlash that occurred in this election something common in this so-called Negara Kesatuan? Does this really demonstrate the Vineka Tunggal Ika that Indonesia prides itself on? I actually became inspired by an Indonesian vlogger, well Canadian vlogger living in Indonesia called Sasha Stevenson and that's what I really tried to base my performance task off this year. My task is a satirical advice video for politicians about how to like buy your way into elections. Collected goods don't always work, but you know what should work? Envelope. Basically little envelopes full of money. I sometimes used Indonesian and I sometimes used English, um, but the keywords are always in Indonesian because that way they can carry their full weight and that's ultimately what you're marked on. She was learning the language, but then she was having, uh, getting this whole other dimension, this, you know, these, these, these different layers of things about Indonesia that she, that she was also learning that she possibly wasn't learning at school. Um, and so I think it really complemented, really rounded the whole um, subject off for her really nicely. In the future, I can see this course will support Emily to um, achieve her goals in terms of her study of languages, um, which is one of, her, one of the things that she wants to do um, after school. Uh, and I think um, the, the fact that she's done the extension course hopefully will um, give her that little, that edge, that bit of an advantage in, in being able to pursue um, what she wants to do um, after school. If you're studying Indonesian at your home secondary college, the overwhelming feedback I've gotten from students and their teachers actually as well is that this course integrates beautifully with the study of conversational Indonesian and actually students find themselves more motivated to do that study at their home secondary college as well. This course was really interesting for me because it was a chance for me to 
look at some of the topics I do with school in more depth, not just Indonesian, which I do, but also I do a politics global studies course, and I found this course really had a lot of links with that course. And it also provided me an experience, or an opportunity rather, to um, investigate something that was really relevant to me. I did my performance task looking at religious minorities in Indonesia, and I'm actually a Baha'i, which is um, a minority that's not counted as one of the major official religions, so looking into like the human rights situation around that was really interesting. Yang tor hormat anggota Komisi Delapan, yang saya hormati. Thank you for this opportunity to address you in English as a member of the Australian Baha'i community. Unfortunately, corruption is still present in the police force and they still hire Prema to do their dirty work. The atmosphere in the classroom is really nice and it was so good to meet all of the other students. I came in this year as a year 11 and these two are year 12s and like we, fit, we all fit straight in and they made us feel really welcome which is nice in a course that combines it and yeah we all made friends really quickly and I think that's another one of the nice things about the course is that you can learn but you also learn working together rather than just like learning off by yourself. Don't worry if you haven't learnt the language before you don't have to know how to say hello or goodbye or even how to go to the toilet in Indonesia. It's just, just learn about the culture and the people. I study out at school and this performance task allowed me to further like research into graffiti and graffiti artists and for my performance task I did a mock interview with a, like a young and older graffiti artists in Indonesia and that sort of reflected like political movements. This course allowed me to access all of the ANU database and I found it really, really useful for all my other courses at school. For more information on the ANU Extension program, go to the ANU Extension website. Applications close in early February.